Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Can We Fix It? And as you can see today, we are not in the garage or in the nerd cave, we're in the kitchen. And today, we are going to talk coffee. Okay guys, here we are at the Keurig. If anybody has one of these, you're probably well aware of the frustration you can have with clogging. Uh, the thing just not spitting out coffee right when you're in the morning, ready to go, need that coffee, and it clogs up and you got to work with it. Well, it's, if, if, if you've used one of these, you know it's fairly easy, well, sometimes fairly easy, I should say, to unclog it. I use these tools, which is a, a paper clip and a straw to get it unclogged. Okay, so I'm going to try to hold a flashlight in here so you guys can see. Um, but this little nozzle right here has three holes, so you want to get your paper clip into those holes and unclog it. Um, so you just work your way around. And now if that doesn't work, you take your bendy straw and you put it over you put it over right over the end of that nozzle and then you blow in the other end. And what that will do is, is force the clog back. Um, I've had to do that a few times. Uh, it, on some really tough clogs. Now, I have figured a way to not get this to clog. What I've been doing is I've been using two different kinds of coffee. I buy this one off Amazon, which I don't use much anymore because it's really getting popular and getting expensive. This is a San Francisco Bay. Uh, it's about $60 for 120 count. Whenever I use these, I never had a clog. If you can see, there's a it's like a mesh bottom. Um, so I don't know, I think the water just flows through it easier so it doesn't back up and clog up. So if you, if you want to avoid clog, use these, but they're more expensive. When I switch to these, which I really like these, I, I'm just a fan of cheap coffee, I guess. Uh, this is some donut shop brand by Walmart. <clears throat> um, great value, I guess, great value donut shop brand. You can't, these I would always get a clog, like every other one. So what I've done to get around the clogging is you put it in like normal, you press it down to where it pierces the bottom, and when it pierces the, it just makes one hole. Now that would always back up and clog. So what I do is I basically just turn it like a clock, or counterclockwise, clockwise, however you want to do it. It's up to you. And then I press down and I make several holes in the bottom of that before every cup, before every brew. And then I, I close it and I brew from that point on. And then I never clog. So if you have a little Keurig like this, mine's a little single, single serve because I'm the only one who drinks any hot coffee in the family. So I'm the only one that uses it. Uh, I, that's how I get around my clogs. Uh, this is a little bit different. Can we fix it? Because I've already fixed it and I apologize, but I've done this for months now and, and I never get clogged. So now I just clean it normally with vinegar I don't know, once every couple months. I, I don't clean it too often. Uh, but that's how I keep it running. Um, any comments, any problems you have with it, let me know. Thanks for watching another episode of Can We Fix It? I hope this helps somebody with a Keurig coffee maker. Um, if you like my shirt, which I'm sure you don't, comment on that. Uh, let me know if these videos are helping you at all. Uh, I'll keep them up. Uh, look for them about once a week. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Leave a comment below. Tell me about your Keurig and what you've done to fix yours. Thank you.